Cancer, and welcome to your January 2022 reading. I'm really excited to help you look into this energy today for the Sun, Moon, and Rising signs of the Cancer Collective. Remember, this is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody. Um, the energies can be reversed, though, so you can assign the roles you please, and you can always look at your Sun, Moon, or Rising signs, depending if this one isn't resonating with you. But if the reading does not resonate with you, stick around because it may be something you need to hear. Also, you can come back in the middle of the month and see if whatever you didn't think was resonating at the time, it might later on because I do have people who have who do that. They come back and watch the video several times throughout the month to see how things are playing out. And that's really cool But because these messages are timeless. So it doesn't matter when you're brought to this channel. This reading, there's something in it for you. If you are wanting to know about the last reading that I just did, it's at the top of the screen and I always have suggested videos at the end. Normally what I would do uh, is at the end of the video, I would release the trapped emotions, uh, tell you what essential oils and crystals to use. I'm not actually gonna be doing that because I'm going back to school. So I need to be very um, precise about what I'm doing if I wanna keep this channel and go back to school at the same time. So I'm just gonna do simple readings um, and just give you information that you need as quickly as possible. That way I can get the videos up really quick and I don't have to cut them a lot. It's just like real a lot easier because other times the other way I have to like meditate and I have to uh, There's a lot of things that go into making those videos. So I'm just not going to do that um, And we'll see if I end up realizing my I can do it with my schedule then I will but for now Let's just I'm, I want to make it as <laughs> As easy as possible so I can keep the channel Okay, so if you like this reading and entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. You get notified as soon as I post something new. I want to thank all the people who have already subscribed uh, and supported this channel. If you're new here, thank you for coming and checking out my channel. Um, and if you would like to support this channel, then go ahead and take a moment to do that. Do so right now. Um, okay, here we go, Cancer. And we have Mercury. Mercury is in retrograde very soon. We'll be in shadow period, so I'll start doing videos as soon as we're in the shadow period so we have a better idea of what's going on. Um, also, we have Venus in retrograde, and those two planets together are supposed to be uh, making it a lot easier for the Mercury retrograde, so let's hope that. And then we have uh, Jupiter is in Pisces right now, so very, very, that's your fellow water sign, which means that you could be getting some beautiful gifts from that relationship as well. All right. Jupiter is love, luck, and money, by the way. <laughs> All right, Cancer, let's see what we have. All right, one, two, three, four, and five. And coupled with that, I'm just going to clarify. Okay, here we go. The overall energy for the month of January is we're in a state of manifestation. Uh, that is actually really good because if we are in Mercury retrograde, it means that we slow down things. So there's potential for lots of manifestation at this point. So Cancer, that's really good. Uh, we've had a lot of transformation and because of that, it's caused great anxiety. So, or there's going to be a lot of transformation that's happening for you. So you're feeling like uh, anxious about it, right? Like, how is this going to work? How am I going to be able to do this? How am I going to be able to do that? And it could be like, how am I going to move forward in this love? How am I going to move forward in my career? How am I, you know, it's just like a lot of anxiety about the transformations that are happening in your life right now. But it's everything that you wanted. It is manifesting beautifully exactly the way that you wanted it to. It's just sometimes when we're in the manifestation phase, like where it's actually things are coming into fruition. Uh, as it's coming into fruition, it's like we don't even know how to change our lives. Like, yes, we wanted that to happen. But now what do I do that it is happening? And I think that is kind of what's going on and making you feel a little uncomfortable. All right. So um, the energy that you're in right now is that you're taking a step back. And this really does feel like Mercury retrograde, although we're not reading that energy right now, but that's what I'm feeling like. You're going to be taking some time to hermit, taking some time to think, taking some time to think about the deception, taking some time to think about the things in your life that didn't happen the way that you wanted them to. And how could you uh, energetically work on that so that they can happen for you? So the, uh, so the five of swords is when we're, we're looking at the times that we've been betrayed, the times that we've had deception, the times that people have gotten away with things. Um, we could even look at ourselves if we feel like we're having imposter syndrome um, or, you know, we're keeping secrets or something like that. Because it is coupled with the hermit card, it is that you're going within and taking a look at these things. 
and trying to find the light, trying to find the thing that will make you move forward in a better uh, energy. So it's a lot of soul searching, introspection, and then working really big with your inner guidance, okay? Um, the, the energy that's coming towards you is that you are in such a great place. You've set yourself up really well for what's coming up next. Um, and that is coupled with the eight of swords. Um, so we, you've worked a lot on your self-learning beliefs and the inner critic. You've gained a new perspective about the things that created self-imposed restrictions for you. So uh, anything that you had victim mentality that you were able to recognize, you looked at that. And because of that, it put you in a really good place right now. Like you're interviewing different and you're, um, you're approaching relationships different and you're having more compassion than maybe you've had before because maybe you were more guarded before and more scared before. And now you're just like, you know what? I know who I am. I know where I'm going. I know what hurt me in the past. I know why it hurt me in the past. I've done some extremely soul searching experiences and I'm ready to move into my higher my higher purpose, my higher self, my higher perspective. Like, okay, so the thing that's holding you back is that someone who uh, has been has kept secrets from you and has kept have kept you out in the cold. Uh, that is still like a focus for you. Like you're still looking at like, is this person holding secrets? Do they really love me? Does the job really um, value me? Uh, so the Queen of Wands. She's learning to step into her power even though people have left her out in the cold, even though people have uh, hurt her, okay? So that is kind of the thing that's holding you back is that you're still learning, and that's okay. We all learn. Um, you're learning to be more self-aware about how you feel when people treat you this way, when people treat you like you're not good enough or treat you like they don't want to have anything to do with you or you're not valuable or something like that. And so that's the thing that that's the energy that's holding you back is because um, you, maybe you apply for something and then they don't call you. And that makes you feel like, well, what's wrong with me? You know, maybe I expressed myself too much or maybe I communicated too much, communicated too much. Or maybe I did. You know, it's like you're starting to really second guess all these great qualities that you have about yourself. You know, um, it's even second guessing your choices that you have at the moment. So let's see where we're going. The. Um, the thing that, I want to see what's hidden that you can't see. But that's been the new one that I keep forgetting to add. So let's see, Cancer. I'm surprised I don't have Soulmate Psycho stuff, although I do have the Lover's card. Because Leo's reading was all in that, dude. And you guys, Cancer and Leo has been really big time in this uh, Twin Flame Soulmate Cycle. So I was very surprised that we didn't have that. Okay, let's look. The hidden that you can't see is someone wants to move towards you really badly because you are their Ten of Cups. Um, so somebody, wa somebody wants to move towards you because you're the Ten of Cups. They see happiness with you. Um, and they just love how you're just so equal give and take about everything, you know, giving. So that's what you don't know. You feel this way. You feel like someone is... Um, not seeing your worth and that they don't love you and all these things, but really they're actually moving towards you super slow, but they are moving towards you. They just, like I said, they have some work that they need to do. That's, oh, I was talking to Leo, so that's why it's coming up. It's reminding me. Leo, if this is your person, if you have a Leo or somebody has Leo on their chart somewhere, that person is, they're working towards coming towards you. It's just super slow. Um, so just so that you know that. It doesn't have to be a Leo. Maybe they act like a Leo. I don't know. Um... Anyway, that is what you can't see. The thing that is helping you is that you are willing to work on the love situation. You are willing to work on your choices. You're willing to work. This is a choice card, divine choice card. So if you made a different choice, like the, uh, the universe got you out of one job, put you in another job, you're willing to work on that. You're willing to do really well. It's whatever it is, is, that's what's really supportive. And this could be the other way too. Like the other person is really like this one who's moving towards you um, slowly because they're working. They're working on getting to you. You know what I mean? So it, ta it takes uh, some time sometimes for people to go through their transfer transformations in order to get near you. All right. The um, overall outcome for the entire reading is the Queen of Swords and coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. So you're getting some truth. 
uh, you're getting some real like serious truth, like bam, in your face truth. And once you do, that's going to start this new beginning for you. Um, and it's, it's just big breakthroughs uh, with this truth. So the Queen of Swords is um, someone who sees the truth, uh, brings the truth, takes risks, they're determined, they see the bigger picture, and they're willing to come towards you to get this new beginning, okay? Uh, and this new beginning is the Ace of Pentacles, which is new financial opportunity, manifestation, and abundance. So they see you as abundance right here. That's why they want to come forward to you, and they want to build a life of abundance with you. So... Well, that was really beautiful. I really don't have much else. Let me see if I can get anything else here. It just seems like such a short reading. Cancer, normally your readings are so much longer. What, what can we tell Cancer that will help them in their journey as they move through January? And uh, it could be anything. Love, career. I'm open to anything that Cancer needs to hear. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on. Okay. So somebody who's been very disconnected and bored wants a spiritual reunion with you because they feel like that's where the passion is. That's where the love is. That's where they're, they're disconnected and bored because they were not living through the energy of their heart chakra. Uh, they weren't moving towards love, but since you've come into their life, they're like, I need to move towards that union, that person, that love, uh, that twin flame, that soulmate cycle. Um, they see you as being very wise. They're still going through a transformation um, but they are accelerating into your, uh, into, in your way. Okay. Um, they're trying to gain like some sort of prosperity on their side before they come to you so they can look like they have more than they feel like they have right now. Um, that is just their ego, their pride, their temptation. That's kind of keeping them in that direction. What they really need to be doing is focus in on their heart uh, and then that will bring them the stability that they need to come forward and the confidence that they need to come forward. Um, right now, they're just moving really slowly towards you is the problem. Um, they're not listening to their higher self. They're not listening to their ego. They're not listening to anything that's been yelling at them to come towards you. Come towards, you know, go, go towards cancer. Go towards cancer. Um, yeah, I, th they do really want this new beginning with you. I, I wish that I had some better cards to say that, hey, they feel so good and they're coming towards you, but I, I just don't really have that. Let's see what kind of advice that we have. And I don't feel it either. I just feel like this person just feels like they're going to, they need to set themselves up more. That's just, that's just wasting time, but yeah, I get it. People got to do what they got to do. All right, let's see. All right, um, I, I don't know. I feel like they're coming forward, though, because it says time to take action. They're, you know, it's not time to uh, let your past hold you back anymore. It's time to just keep moving forward. This personal uh, issue will reach a new resolution. So just keep showing the world the real you and expect a powerful change to come your way. Okay, because it's a new romantic cycle that's beginning. So beautiful. Somebody's working through their fears to come forward to you right now. So just let them do their thing. Okay, it's part of their journey and part of their uh, their um, soul growth for them to do that. We don't want to take that experience away from anybody. So just keep doing you, Cancer, um, and keep you know living in your own self worth and love and life. And this person will eventually come your way. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, if you like this video, um, like, share, and subscribe, and there's suggested videos here at the end. Bye.